Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to make your photos look more dramatic in Adobe Lightroom. So first things first is my friend Thomas. He runs a YouTube channel where he vlogs and that sort of stuff. So in case you want to check it out, the link will be in the description along with his Instagram. But basically today I'll be teaching you how to make a dramatic photo like this. So this is the before and after. Obviously the before is a little bit cropped in, but you can see what I mean by dramatic, right? It's very mysterious, very structured, very dark, very scary looking. So I'll just be pointing out a couple things that I do personally when I edit photos like this. Um, so I'm gonna reset all the settings and stuff so that looks normal. Uh, I'm gonna distort the image because I wanna make it a bit wider. So there we go. And basically what you wanna accomplish is you wanna contrast the colors and the lighting. So what I mean is you want dark parts in the photo in combination with bright parts in the photo. So how you do this is you would decrease the blacks and increase the highlights all the way. So you can see the pull from both sides. So the before and after already you can see, right? However, when you do this, you can see the skin tones are a bit off. It's kind of dark. So to show a bit of detail, you want to increase the shadows. And if it's still too dark after you increase the shadows, you can always go to luminance and then just change the orange or yellow depending on what color the skin tone is. So you can see here, it's a bit better and you can see a bit better and you can also just decrease the saturation a bit if you want. I'm not gonna do that. The next thing you wanna do is increase clarity. Clarity does a lot, especially if you want a grungy HDR effect type of photo. And if you have some sort of texture on the walls or the portrait or anything like that, especially if it's a you know, close up shot, increasing clarity will do a lot. It'll add structure to the object and all that sort of stuff. So you can see here, it adds a lot of texture right here on the floor and all that sort of stuff. I don't even think this photo's in focus, like, but it looks pretty cool right now, right? We're also gonna increase the contrast as well because the whole aim of this editing process is to contrast everything. So it's just smart to increase contrast. We're also gonna increase the exposure a bit, maybe decrease the highlights a little bit because that's a bit too bright. So at this point, uh, there is a little bit more white in the photo than dark, you know, blacks. So what we can do is we can add a vignette. Vignetting will usually add a dramatic feel because it'll pull focus to the middle. Uh, so you can do this uh, one of two ways. You can go to lens corrections or go to effects. I personally prefer lens corrections just because there's less options and it's just simpler to use so just like increase the amount increase the midpoint and there you go if that's too much you can always just decrease the amount so here you can see before and after already right that's a lot there's a big difference i think maybe the clarity is a bit too much or the contrast or maybe increase the shadow a bit yeah something like that now you can see the face perfectly fine so you can either go on lens correction increase it or you can go to effects and you can change it right here so usually you would want more shadows than highlights obviously because highlights kind Kind of remind me of like happy you know like daytime is a lot happier than nighttime right nighttime's a bit more gritty more grungy feeling you know what i mean more scary feeling that's why we also want to change the temperature because that's sort of how it feels like with cooler colors when i think of warmer colors i think of beaches and like sunshine and like sunsets and stuff that's like calmer chiller vibes while a colder temperature reminds me of like you know what i explained before that's why you want to keep the image dark and you want to keep it colder what we also want to do is decrease the vibrance and saturation because you know colors that pop and images that pop you know are happy you know like balloons you know are like paint you know all that sort of colorful stuff is very happy stuff with this editing process you want to make it very like dark and gloomy right i'll make it a little bit more blue maybe a little bit darker as well maybe decrease the shadows a bit so if you decrease the saturation it'll give that effect right nothing sad is you know colorful nobody has a birthday party where everything's like gloomy right it's always like red and and yellow balloons and stuff like that right yeah that's essentially it um for like split toning i wouldn't recommend it just because most of the image is going to be either shadow or highlight and if you select a color most of the image will be that color and it won't look that good usually there's less highlights in the shadows and images and that's why highlights would work because it adds a subtle color but in this case there's a lot of highlights so if you just add a color it'll apply to this whole thing and it might not look good but if you add maybe like a really really subtle thing like this where you can probably not even tell that it's there maybe it'll work but in most cases, if you're like adding to the shadow, it'll look really bad, right? Because most of the photo is shadow. If only part of the photo is shadow, then it'll look perfectly fine. But in this case, you can't really do that. I think here, if you add a highlight that is like a cooler color, it might look pretty good because initially it was like a purple tint or like a white tint, but now it's a cooler tint. So that might work. And yeah, that's basically it. So just some key points to take away. You want to make it a cool color. You want to decrease the vibrance and saturation, increase the clarity and make the highlights in the blacks like 
like opposite from each other and add vignetting if you can only add vignetting if it looks you know good sometimes vignetting will make the photo look terrible but i like vignetting because all the focus is in the middle now right and there's a lot of shadow so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it helped you out if it did hit the thumbs up button get this video to 300 likes and i'll release the preset my name is steven and i'll see you in the next one